this is Stanley from Active Context.net. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future posts. Today I'm going to talk to you about Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. This is also known as The Living Dead of the Manchester Morgue and probably a dozen other titles in Spanish and Italian and German and whatever language. It's a film from 1974. Uh, it's directed by uh, Jörg Grau. Don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. There's a short introduction by this guy on this edition. This is the Anchor Bay edition. Um, and um, where he says that he, he hopes that we as the audience, we like the film and gets really frightened by it. So we feel uncomfortable and, and whatever he says. Something like that. And um, I don't think that it's a frightening movie at all, really. It's kind of tense, I think. I think that the environment, the settings, are really remarkably good. It's set in a British village, and the setting is remarkably good. It's so fantastically good-looking. And uh, we get to meet this, this woman and this man at the kind of beginning of the movie and they cross paths they decide to to, to go on the same way so to speak um, they're not really into to this uh, companionship because the one of them hits the other one's motorcycle and yeah they're, they're not really happy about each other but they, they um, travel together uh, from that point on and they go to see her sister, which is kind of not cuckoo, but she, she's kind of addicted to, to some illegal substance. And um, on the way there, first they cannot find the place. So on the way there, they encounter some mysterious man trying to attack her. Uh, and um, of course, no one believes that. But um, as the movie moves on, we get to see this man and, and other creatures, zombies, uh, more and more. And um, I think that the unusual thing about this movie, uh, compared to, to a lot of other zombie movies, is the, the uh, explanation to why these dead arise from their graves. There is actually a scientific explanation which you can take with uh, with a grain of salt, of course, but there is a scientific explanation to why these dead or undead um, creatures roam the earth. And um, I think that that's a pretty nice explanation, actually. I, I like it. And I, as I said, I like the, the um, environments and I like the settings. And I, and I like the the way that this movie uh, portrays these living corpses it looks really really nice there's a great makeup effects and that's something that nowadays at least you don't really see good makeup effects for zombies at least not in in uh, the low budget zombie movies and there is a lot of low budget zombie movies let me tell you um, of course, if you have lots and lots of money, like uh, the producers of The Walking Dead or something, uh, then you can make zombies look awesome in, in that sense, because you have a lot of money and, and um, a lot of time to, to make the makeup effects. In this movie, though, they, they did not maybe have that much money and that much time. But the acting is really good. I like it. I think that the um, plot is believable, if you can use that word in the same sentence as zombies. I think that uh, the plot, uh, the feel to it, is really fantastic. I did review this movie actually a few years back in Swedish from, on one site. Uh, and uh, then I, I gave it the total complete masterpiece uh, grade ever 
And now that I rewatched it the other day, I didn't really, really think that it was so fantastic as I once did. It's still a, a really great movie, but it's not top-notch zombie whatever. It's not really, really that, that good. It's not the creme de la creme of zombie movies. Even though it's probably... Uh, it's, it's easily one of the ten best zombie movies. One of the three best zombie movies ever, in my opinion. But it's not that really, really effective movie that I once thought it was. But today, I'm going to rate this as 9 out of 10. So that was all for today. Please like and subscribe down below and comment if you've seen this movie. And have a nice day until next time. Thanks for watching.